Kansas City style barbecue refers to the specific regional barbecue style of slowly smoked meat that originated from the pit of Henry Perry in the early 1900s in Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City barbecue is characterized by its use of a wide variety of meats, pork, beef, chicken, turkey, lamb, sausage, and sometimes even fish. Just about any type of barbecued meat served in the country's other barbecue capitals, from pulled pork to brisket to beef ribs and pork ribs in a number of different cuts, is served in KC area barbecue restaurants. Burnt ends, the crusty, fatty, flavorful meat cut from the point of a smoked beef brisket, are much in demand. Kansas City barbecue is rubbed with spices, slow smoked over a variety of woods and served with a thick tomato-based barbecue sauce, which is an integral part of KC style barbecue. Most local restaurants and sauce companies offer several varieties with sweet, spicy and tangy flavor profiles, but the staple sauce tends to be both sweet often from molasses and spicy. Kansas City barbecue is also known for its many side dishes, including a unique style of baked beans, French fries, coleslaw, and other southern food staples. The Kansas City metropolitan area has more than 100 barbecue restaurants, a number of which are nationally renowned. The area is also home to several large barbecue cooking contests, notably the Great Lenexa Barbecue Battle and the American Royal World Series of Barbecue, the largest barbecue competition in the world. History Henry Perry Urban Kansas City traces its barbecue history to Henry Perry, who operated out of a trolley barn at 19th and Highland in the legendary African-American neighborhood around 18th and Vine. Perry served slow-cooked ribs on pages of newsprint for 25 cents a slab. Perry came from Shelby County, Tennessee, near Memphis, and began serving barbecue in 1908. Kansas City and Memphis barbecue styles are very similar, although Kansas City tends to use more sauce and a wider variety of meats. Perry's sauce had a somewhat harsh, peppery flavor. Perry's restaurant became a major cultural point during the heyday of Kansas City jazz during the wide open days of Tom Pendergast in the 1920s and 1930s. Arthur Bryant Working for Henry Perry was Charlie Bryant, who, in turn, brought his brother, Arthur Bryant, into the business. Charlie took over the Perry restaurant in 1940 after Perry died. Arthur then took over his brother's business in 1946, and the restaurant was renamed Arthur Bryant's. Arthur Bryant's, which eventually moved to 1727 Brooklyn in the same neighborhood, became a stomping ground for baseball fans and players in the 1950s and 1960s, because of its close proximity to Municipal Stadium, where the Athletics or A's played their home games during that period. In April 1972, Kansas City native Calvin Trillin wrote an article in Playboy proclaiming Bryant's to be the best restaurant on the planet. Despite newfound fame, Bryant did not change the restaurant's very simple décor, which consisted of fluorescent lighting, formica tables, and five-gallon jars of sauce displayed in the windows, even as Presidents Harry Truman, Jimmy Carter and Ronald Reagan stopped by. Bryant died of a heart attack, in a bed that he kept at the restaurant, shortly after Christmas of 1982. The restaurant is still open. The sauce and restaurant continue their success. Along the main inner wall of the restaurant is photographic history of many famous politicians, actors, actresses and sports figures and other tribute pictures of military personnel displaying Arthur Bryant's memorabilia such as shirts or bottles of sauce. Topic Gates and Sons In 1946 Arthur Pinkard, who was a cook for Perry, joined with George Gates to form Gates and Sons Bar BQ. The restaurant was situated initially in the same neighborhood. Gates barbecue sauce does not contain molasses, the ingredients, as listed on the bottle, are, tomatoes, vinegar, salt, sugar, celery, garlic, spices, and pepper, one-tenth of one percent potassium sorbate preservative added, it is available in original classic, mild, sweet and mild, and extra hot varieties. 
Gates also expanded its footprint in a more conventional way, with restaurants all displaying certain trademarks, red-roofed buildings, a recognizable logo a strutting man clad in tuxedo and top hat and the customary Hi, may I help you? greeting belted out by its employees as patrons enter. Gates has opened restaurants throughout the Kansas City metropolitan area. The chain currently consists of five area Gates Bar BQ restaurants, three in Missouri, two in Kansas. Gates also has sold barbecue sandwiches at Kauffman Stadium during Kansas City Royals home games, and currently at Arrowhead Stadium during Kansas City Chiefs home games. Other notable restaurants Fiorella's Jack Stack Barbecue Fiorella's Jack Stack Barbecue had its beginnings as the second restaurant in the Smokestack Barbecue chain, which Russ Fiorella Sr. had started in 1957. Fiorella's eldest son Jack worked with his father until 1974, when he and his wife Dolores opened their own smokestack location in the Martin City neighborhood of South Kansas City. Eventually, Jack, along with his wife and children, decided to expand their menu selections, adding non traditional barbecue menu items like hickory grilled steaks, lamb ribs, crown prime beef short ribs, and fresh, hickory grilled seafood, along with an extensive wine and bar selection. They also began offering a higher level of comfort and service than most people were accustomed to at a barbecue restaurant. Smokestack Barbecue in Martin City soon became one of the most successful restaurants in the Kansas City metro. In 1996, Jack Fiorello was named Restaurateur of the Year by the Greater Kansas City Restaurant Association. By the mid 1990s, Jack Fiorella decided to replicate the success of his Martin City Smokestack restaurant. Other members of the Fiorella family told Jack that he was not permitted to use the smokestack name for his new restaurant, so both the new restaurant opened in 1997 in Overland Park, Kansas and Jack's existing restaurant in Martin City dropped the smokestack name and were rebranded as Fiorella's Jack Stack Barbecue. They also opened a full-service catering operation in Martin City and their third location in the historic Freight House building in the Crossroads Arts District. They began shipping their barbecue nationwide in 2000, and in October 2006 they opened a fourth location on the Country Club Plaza. In 2014, a fifth Jack Stack restaurant opened in Lee's Summit, Missouri. The original Smokestack chain closed its last remaining location in 2012. Fiorella's Jack Stack Barbecue has been featured on the Food Network and the History Channel, and has been rated as among the best barbecue in the United States by several national organizations and magazines. Most notably, the Zagat survey has named it the number one barbecue house in the country. Topic: <inaudible> Joe's Kansas City. Joe's Kansas City Barbecue can be traced to Competition Barbecue and the Kansas City Barbecue Society (KCBS). Accompanying friends at the American Royal and the Great Lenexa barbecue battle inspired Jeff Steny to start cooking on his own. The first smoker purchased was an Oklahoma Joe's 24 inches smoker, christened in April 1991. By 1993, Jeff, his wife and business partner Joy, and Jim Thurston Howell were ready to make their mark on the KCBS competition circuit. Their competition team, Slaughterhouse 5, ended up winning eight Grand Championships, including the prestigious American Royal Barbecue, three Reserve Grand Championships, and the KCBS's Grand Champion Team of the Year in 1993. Over the next several seasons Slaughterhouse 5 won dozens more awards and was generally recognized as one of the top competition barbecue teams in the country. Jeff and Joy opened Oklahoma Joe's Barbecue later renamed to Joe's Kansas City Barbecue in a gas station in Kansas City, Kansas in 1996. There are also locations in Olathe, Kansas and Leewood, Kansas. Celebrity chef Anthony Bourdain listed Joe's original Kansas City, Kansas location as one of 13 places you must eat before you die. Men's Health magazine named it America's manliest restaurant. Joe's was featured on season 3 of Man V. Food in August 2010. It was also named Kansas City's Best Barbecue by Zagat. Topic: <laughs> LC's Bar BQ. 
Mississippi-born L. C. Richardson took early retirement as a company chef for Farmland Industries and opened L. C.'s Bar BQ near the Truman Sports Complex in 1986. L.C.'s specializes in burnt ends and ribs, and utilizes a sauce similar to Gates but with substantially less sugar and more vinegar. L.C.'s also sauces the meat prior to smoking and continually saucing throughout the cooking process. This technique forms a thin, chewy and extremely flavorful layer on the outside of the meat and effectively seals the ribs, resulting in a remarkably tender and juicy finished product. LC's side dishes, especially the baked beans and the fresh cut fries, are almost as notable as the meats. LC's Bar BQ has also been featured on the travel channels. Anthony Bourdain, No Reservations. <laughs> BB's Lawnside Barbecue In October 1990, after leaving a sales job, Lindsay Shannon and his wife Joe opened BB's Lawnside Barbecue in South Kansas City. The main focus of BB's is Kansas City style barbecue and Louisiana dishes. The menu includes Kansas City favorites like ribs, sausage, and pulled pork, which are slow smoked in a 60 year old pit with apple wood. The Louisiana dishes include gumbo, jambalaya, and goulash. Not long after opening in October 1990, owner Lindsay Shannon decided to add another one of his passions, blues music. Local and national blues bands perform at BB's six nights a week. BB's is known as Where Barbecue Meets the Blues in Kansas City. BB's has been featured in the New York Times and USA Today. About.com lists BB's in the top five barbecue restaurants in Kansas City. BB's Lawnside Barbecue has also been featured on Food Network's Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, hosted by Guy Fieri. Topic: <laughs> KC Masterpiece. In 1977, Rich Davis capitalized on the reputation of Kansas City Barbecue to form KC Masterpiece, which evolved from his KC. Soul style barbecue sauce. KC Masterpiece is sweeter and thicker than many of the traditional Kansas City sauces served in the region. The KC Masterpiece recipe uses extra molasses to achieve its thick, sweet character. KC Masterpiece was sold to the Kingsford Division of Clorox in 1986 and now claims to be the number one premium barbecue brand in the U.S. When Davis sold the rights to his sauce to Clorox, he announced plans to build a franchise of barbecue restaurants. The franchises were successful for a few years, but are now all closed. <laughs> Kurt's Famous Meats Kurt's Famous Meats is a meat market founded in 1947 by Curtis Jones and sold to Donna Pittman in 1989. With clientele from all across America, Kurt's specializes in barbecue prepared with Kansas City rub. It has a long history of award-winning barbecue, having won eight times the American Royal Barbecue Competition, the largest in the world. Kurtz is located on East Truman Road in the Maywood neighborhood of Independence, Missouri. Although not in Kansas City proper, Kurtz has been a large competitor in many local competitions in barbecue. Kurtz Famous Meats is also known for its predominantly female staff that Donna Pittman has hired. They are known locally as the Lady Meat Cutters. Topic. Kansas City Barbecue Society The Kansas City Barbecue Society KCBS was founded in 1986. With over 13,000 members worldwide, it is the world's largest organization of barbecue and grilling enthusiasts. KCBS is a non-profit organization dedicated to promoting barbecue as America's cuisine and having fun while doing so. KCBS sanctions nearly 300 barbecue contests across the U.S. each year and offers assistance to civic and charitable organizations with producing these events. The KCBS has developed a set of rules and regulations that govern all official KCBS competitions. KCBS offers educational programs, consultation services and civic organization presentations to help spread the gospel of barbecue. The mission of the Kansas City Barbecue Society is to celebrate, teach, preserve and promote barbecue as a culinary technique, sport and art form. Kansas 
Topic See also Bacon explosion Burnt ends List of regional dishes of the United States List of smoked foods Regional variations of barbecue Street. Lewis-style barbecue.